So question 7b is asking the same thing. For this ordered pair, x and y, are both of these solutions satisfied by that ordered pair? So we, again, need to prove that everything on the left side of each of these uh, equations equals what they're saying it equals, which in this case, for the first equation is negative 2, and for the second one is 2. So to do that, let me erase some of this. To do that, we actually need to plug in the values of x and y, just as we did in the last, um, in the last problem. So let's see what happens. So we're going to do the top equation first, and I'll just do it over here. So x is negative 3 plus y, which is 1, equals what they're stating, which is negative 2. So negative 3 plus 1 is, in fact, negative 2. So we can state now that this, this equation is satisfied by that ordered pair. But now let's look at the second one. So in this case, uh, x is negative 3 plus 5 times 1, which is y, equals 2. And 5 times 1 is 5, so negative 3 plus 5 is actually 2 equals 2. So in this particular case, both conditions are satisfied. Therefore, this ordered pair is a solution to the system.